What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range as you can see back behind me. Absolutely fantastic weather out here. So I got a lot of stuff planned today to make the most of it. And this one right here should be another good 45 ACP test. So standard procedure with the jelly contraption set up, of course, we got the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now these are brand new blocks just put into the rotation. So they're a little bit wavy, but still nice and clear. I've done only one test in them so far and it was a really nice nine mil test. I'll leave a link up above if y'all hadn't seen that one now as you can see again we're sticking with this heavy clothing barrier i've pretty much made the decision to just stay with this now i know uh some people might not be wearing this in the summer obviously and in a lot of places maybe not even the winter but the the thing is if it can defeat this cloth and still do well you really don't have to worry about any kind of clothing whatsoever so heavy clothing barrier with a layer of denim fleece and two layers of a cotton t-shirt material now what we're checking out like i say is some 45 8 ACP. And as y'all can see, it's an old familiar face. We got the Winchester Ranger T-Series, but this time it's in plus P. Now y'all know I've tested this 45 ACP T-Series a couple of different versions as a matter of fact. This one happens to be the six talon. So this is the older version of the, the newest ones that have eight talons, but I've tested them side by side and really the performance difference was negligible in my opinion. So with this plus P, I think these ought to do pretty well because if I can remember correctly, they did pretty decent through that cloth even without the stand without the uh, plus p just at the standard pressure now obviously if i didn't mention these are 230 grain you can see nice nickel plated case with that uh, t-series projectile those y'all who for some reason are not familiar with these and hadn't seen my many t-series tests in different calibers these are actually the successor to the old black talons is basically what these are a little bit of changes they're actually for if you read up on them the changes made were actually to the better so the whole legend of the black talons being some just incredible round uh, i mean really that's what that is just a legend but as far as what we're going to send them out of today i got a couple different barrel length 1911s we got the full size five inch rock island right here and then we got the four and a quarter inch barrel taurus commander so this should be another really good one here i personally think that we're going to see some good stuff out of these because like i said as far as i can remember even the standard pressure did pretty well so this extra pressure and hopefully extra little speed ought to do them some good let me get this stuff set up and let's see what they can do all right let's see if we can get us some speeds out of these things i'm gonna do a five round average from each barrel length starting with this four and a quarter inch taurus first i meant to look before i left and uh at the old video of the standard pressure and see what they were moving but i totally forgot and there's nothing on the box on these so i'm really not sure what to even expect out of these here well, let's see what they give us got 940 934, 925, 937, and 944. So not too bad for a 230 grain projectile and a four and a quarter inch barrel. Let's check that average. All right, so our five round average there was 936 feet per second and the extreme spread on this was only 15. So some incredibly consistent stuff right here. Let me reset it and let's try out that five inch. All right, let's see what this five inch Rock Island does for it, y'all. Five, uh, five round average on this one also. 971 981 961 968 I was hoping for 951 and 970 so it definitely sped it up a little bit let's check out what we got all right so that time our five round average from this full size five inch barrel is 970 feet per second and if you remember out that four and a quarter it was 936 so you're talking about 34 feet per second difference between them 34 feet per second more from this extra three quarter inch barrel so that actually sounds exactly about right so what i think is if we get good performance out of one we're gonna get it out of the other if one fails the other one's gonna fail but let me get this 
reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's heavy pressure jelly time. We'll put one round from each barrel length into the gel, starting with this four and a quarter first. And now I'm probably doing this right here against my better judgment, but I'm gonna try to actually put this on the back side here and then move y'all back around when we look at them. And I'm gonna try to put it real high so that other track's not blocking it. But like I said, I'm probably pressing my luck because I'm not the best with either one of these 1911s. Let's see what I can do though. Believe it or not, I think that was actually perfect. Let me go down there and see what I got. All right, I wanted to put that just a little bit higher, but I think that's gonna be actually perfect once we flip to the other side. It's just gonna make it a little tough on this five inch here because I'm gonna try to put it up under that one, but still up above in that little gap y'all see in right there. But let's see what happens, y'all. This one right might really, really be pressing my luck. I don't think it hits as low as that Taurus though. Ah, it did go low. I think it I went a little bit low. I think I'm right in front of that other track. Let me see if it stayed out the bottom. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. I can already see somebody now running out there to fuss about all the tracks in the jail. There was only two tracks before this, y'all. It's just the way they ended up and the size of them. So what we got here on the top, that big old area of disruption right there, that was the first one out of the four and a quarter inch Commander. So very nice looking performance here. What I can see so far comes in, looks like it expands pretty much immediately. Nice spiral looking action again, carries all the way through this first block into the second one about an inch and then it's resting there looks like there's actually some pretty nice expansion which kind of surprises me even at the plus p because you know like i've said in the past these the uh, t-series do really really well through bare gel but once you add this cloth they have started failing miserably so it's really good to see that one expand now with that being said down here on the bottom that's the one out of the five inch now it's a little bit misleading back behind there like that wide area that's on the, the previous test that doesn't have anything to do with this one so it comes in it does look like it starts to expand but not nearly as big a disruption as the one out of the four and a quarter and i'll show you the projectile here and it makes sense so did get some disruption nice this uh, wound channel going through here again carries through the entire first block goes i mean it looks almost exactly the same forward momentum into that second block and then rebounds back and this one here just looking at it before i even pull it i can tell that it did not fully expand even the the pedals the talons that peeled out doesn't look like their points actually got peeled all the way out and there's a couple of them that didn't peel back at all but now as far as your penetration on them the one out of the four and a quarter inch commander went out here to 17 and a quarter so 17 and a quarter inches forward momentum and then the one from the five inch rock island actually stopped at exactly 16 and three quarters so in half of an inch difference in penetration between between them but both of them did absolutely fantastic in that regard but let me see if I can get you a little better look at these wound tracks. As you can see down here on the bottom in the front, that's the one from the five inch Rock Island. You can see the entrance in front of that nine mil from the previous test. But like I was saying, it's not that big. It's misleading because of that disruption behind it. But if you get up from an upward angle here, let's get you from above. You can see there, that's not much. Now, don't get me wrong, that's plenty, but not near as much as we're seeing out of that one from the uh, five inch. And you can see there, like I was saying, obviously, those two pedals that we're looking at right here did not peel back at all and it looks to me like the ones that did even the little talons aren't sticking out and then here on the back side this is the one out of the four and a quarter inch Taurus commander as you can see all of that all of that right there that you're looking at that's all from that Taurus commander from that t-series right there that whole entire big chunk of disruption because the only thing behind it is that nine you can see if i get you at the exact right angle you got that nine the dirty looking track up above but all of this right here is from the t-series out of that four and a quarter inch commander so we may have had some tumbling right there i would say we probably Probably did because that's a lot of damage right there and then you can see it carries into the second block now that one looks like it's expanded pretty nicely 
All right, let's check out these projectiles, y'all. So after pulling these things out, it didn't go as well as I thought it did on this Taurus four and a quarter. This five inch looks about like we saw. You can see it was sitting like that. So those are the two pedals we saw that didn't peel back. But both of them just really, really erratic expansion, just really irregular. Um, honestly, this is what we saw pretty much from the standard pressure versions. They kind of half expanded like this, just more mangled up from probably tumbling around. I I think this cloth is just still getting them too much you can see this one's got some cloth packed in it over actually on this side that did not expand well oddly enough this one here pushed most of the cloth out it looks like but you can see there was definitely an effect on this projectile because y'all know running these in bare gel these things do absolutely incredible and in pretty much all the calibers and weights i've tested but like i said once you add this cloth you see what you get now this is going to be one of them situations where i'm going to have to say well these didn't perform well but they actually actually did because in this particular instance in the jail yes this is a great performance i would have no problem carrying these but the problem is they did not perform these projectiles did not perform as designed you're talking about just ballistic gel you should get absolutely perfect symmetrical expansion from these if they perform properly and these just didn't now these are 45 acp of course so either way they're going to get the job done but it's just a simple fact of the matter that you're paying for something that you're actually not getting getting with these but let's get some measurements on them and see what we got there i don't see any kind of shrapnel no kind of jacket lead or anything it doesn't look like anything peeled off from these but we'll weigh them anyway they both started at 230 so we'll get this one here out of the five inch rock island first this one is at 228.8 so like i said more than likely nothing lost there probably just tolerances in manufacturing this one here out of the taurus commander is at 230 30.2 so obviously again no kind of loss there and then as far as the sizes on them like i said this right here is where you're gonna have some really really irregular stuff right there you got 830 806 and then a big one there at 878 so really really nice a size on that and i guess great expansion for what it did but it just didn't do it fully and then this one here out of the taurus commander probably about the same story right there you got 984 970 two and then on the smallest section there you got 712 so again absolutely incredible final size on these things and good expansion for what they did but they just didn't do it all the way like i said so there you have it y'all the winchester ranger t-series 45 acp plus p so this really wasn't the redemption i was hoping for i'll be honest with you i expected these things with that plus p or i was at least hoping i guess i should say that you were going to see absolutely perfect expansion now this right here is nothing to complain about either one of these like i said if it did this every time at least this i would have absolutely no problem carrying it at all and even if it didn't do quite this it's still plenty good enough because it's 45 acp after all but once again it's just not the performance that you're paying for and not the full performance that you're expecting and that they're trying to claim that you're going to get all right, y'all, I think I'm going to wrap it up right there for what was another so-so 45 ACP test. Now, I will say from what I can remember, this has probably been the best performing out of the 45 ACP. I think the standard pressures did a really similar thing, though, as far as kind of partial expansion. I can't exactly remember, but like I said, I believe these have done the best through the cloth anyway. But let me know what y'all think about the performance from these things out here today. Any of y'all out there that actually do carry these in plus P or standard version, what do you think about the performance you saw out here today and does it change your mind as far as carrying them or not carrying them let me know in the comments what your thoughts are if you did enjoy the video take a second hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you've got your notifications on so you get notified when i upload new stuff take a second if you would and check out those affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon hit up my storefront link first you'll go right through amazon just like normal from there doesn't cost you any extra money and anything you buy anywhere on amazon after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel Channel. same deal with those axle links down there summertime is going to be here before you know it it's going to be hot and sweaty out here check out these gs extreme ear pros don't have the most sweaty swamp ears and you can save a lot of money on them by going through those links instead of straight to their site like i always tell you i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel tons of really good stuff headed y'all's way so be on the lookout and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon